Does one of your seal bar heaters say that it's 1,598 degrees? That's as hot as the Earth's mantle. Hello, Nate here at Viking Mesa QS headquarters in Newtsburg, Wisconsin with another quick tip video. Today I'll show you how to diagnose and test a bad seal bar temperature sensor. We use RTD sensors to sense the temperature of the seal bars on all of our machines. You may be wondering, what is an RTD? RTD stands for Resistance Temperature Detector. It's a type of sensor whose electrical resistance changes when its temperature changes. The controls used in our machines read the resistance value of the sensor to know how hot the seal bar is. The control then turns the heater in the seal bar off or on to maintain the desired temperature set point as selected on the human machine interface, or HMI. Basically, it's a fancy thermometer that the machine can read to control the temperature of the seal bar. There are two ways that an RTD can fail. The first and most common way for an RTD to fail is it quits and sends no reading at all. When this happens, the control defaults to the highest temperature reading in its programming, which is 1598 degrees. The HMI displays an actual temperature of 1598 degrees Fahrenheit, or in some machine versions, a series of pound signs. The control is programmed to know that that is wrong and a fault occurs. If the actual heater temperature is 1,598 degrees, as hot as the Earth's mantle, we've got bigger problems. The second is a rare condition where the RTD's resistant value is wrong for its temperature. The control interprets the resistance reading of the RTD, and since the RTD is giving the control the wrong info, the control turns the heaters to the wrong temperature. First, before we get into the nuts and bolts of testing in a bad RTD, it's time for the safety notice. Be sure to follow your organization's lockout, tagout procedures and PPE guidelines before performing a repair. Do not perform work in the machine compartment of an energized and initialized machine. Do not bypass any safety switches or relays. Failure to use caution while working on the machine by not using proper safety procedures could result in injury or death. Only authorized personnel should perform machine repairs. Viking Mesa cannot foresee every possible instance where an injury could occur. Don't hurt yourself or somebody else. If you need help or if you need to schedule service by one of our authorized technicians, please call the service number at the end of this video. Now with that said, let's get to it. For demonstration purposes, I have an RTD here that is disconnected from the machine. Normally, when it's in the machine, the silver RTD sensor on the end of the cable is installed in the heater bar. Number one, get out your multimeter and test leads. Set the meter to detect resistance. Step two, with your meter set to test resistance, put one test lead on one of the wires connected to your RTD and the other test lead on the other wire connected to your RTD. Step three, check the reading on your multimeter. If the reading says OL for open line, the RTD has gone bad. Most RTDs fail in this manner. If the resistance for your RTD is not open line, check that the resistance reading is correct for the temperature and type of RTD you are testing. If you do not have access to this information for your machine and RTD type, no worries. Test a good RTD of the same type at the same temperature, then compare their resistance readings. The RTD is good if the readings are the same. The RTD is bad if the readings are different. To check an RTD when it is in the machine, you can first find its circuit in the wiring schematic. This will vary dependent on machine type. Second, according to the wiring schematic, test the RTD at the appropriate points on the machine. When doing this, remember to isolate the RTD circuit you are testing so you don't accidentally test something else and get a misleading resistance reading. Also, keep in mind that when you test the RTD in the machine, a broken wire or bad connection in the RTD circuit could also cause an OL or a bad reading and mimic a bad RTD. Don't accidentally blame the RTD for a broken connection. 
That's how you test the RTD for one of our machines. If you found this video helpful or enjoyable, make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons below. Then check out some of our other great videos, like the Twin Velocities packaging coffee at 300 bags per minute. Until then, have fun, enjoy life, and happy packaging.